Hey, hey, hey. Facebook Live. I'm going to give everybody, some people, maybe a minute to get on live with me before I start spilling it. Facebook Live is so intimidating. Every time, every time, I get intimidated. Did y'all know that I think a lot of people have made the assumption at this point that I'm just like fearless? And I think you should probably know that there has never been a. I've been posting videos for a long time. They just recently started getting, you know, more acknowledgement than just my personal page friends. But every single time I'm scared to hit post every time and I've seen a lot of people say oh I wish I had the guys I think you should just do it just do it it's so freeing and you should just not care about what anybody thinks and I have so much good stuff I want to share with y'all and I uh, the first thing I need to say though first and foremost is that if you follow my page you're gonna know that I love God I love God so much and I shout it to the rooftops and some people aren't going to like that I'm sure but I have to give him first and foremost props because I've been praying and praying and praying. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've been praying and praying on how can I switch from posting to my personal page to my like page and be okay with everyone not necessarily seeing it at first and boom random video goes viral and now I can just completely post on my like page and not even worry about the personal page anymore so I can get to know more people and um, and I'm super pumped and I need everyone to know that being perfectly honest I am a little overwhelmed I am listen I'm a good coach okay let me tell you why I want to get to know you on a more personal level. I really want to know so much more about you than just if you want to lose weight or if I'm getting a lot of messages from people wanting to, uh, you know, get advice or, um, you know, maybe work with me. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten to all of them. But the reason why is because I usually don't work with a whole lot of people at one time because I really want to give you my full time and attention and really form a relationship with you. And I think it's super important that you tackle what's going on in here and in your heart and in your soul and you're and tackling things emotionally um, before you try to just lose weight. So the way that I do that is I get to know you and I get to know your struggle and so I see your messages I see them I promise um, and I'm trying my best to filter it and and filter my time and you know I've got three kids and so just please be patient with me and know that I see you and I want to talk with you and I want to help you and I'm just trying to figure this whole thing out because this just happened in like three days went from like I've gotten like 4,000 new people in three days and so I'm trying my best to be there for everybody and um, and by the way let me just say this right now let me clear a few things up for you I am a good mother <laughs> I have a almost two-year-old and she was not crying she was sitting right across from me and her sister had Caillou on the iPad mamas y'all know all about some Caillou and um, so she was saying she wanted the iPad. She was fussing. She was saying, help, and help sounds like ow, I guess. Um, and so, no, she was fine. I wasn't ignoring my child so that I could twerk. And, uh, and I'm a really good mother, so you just shut your mouth on that. <laughs> Um, and the choking incident, can I tell you all that? Nothing makes me laugh harder than when I see people comment on that. It cracks me up because that happens to me all the time. And it's always in the worst moment, like when uh, I'm in church and it's like super silent prayer time. And then all of a sudden I suck my spit back the wrong pop. You know how it just like you breathe it back it goes in your lungs and then you just like can't breathe and you and you so you choke and you and then you try to stop yourself from choking so then it's like and then it so at that moment i just decided to go with it and to get it out so that i could keep dancing um so yes i i, I did not swallow a bug and i didn't almost die although it definitely looked that way and I think it's absolutely hilarious when I see your comments on that. It makes me laugh till I cry. Um, I also, what else, what else, what else did I want? Oh, okay. That 
once again, I'm just going to tell you all one more time, though, that was a challenge. So uh, I want to encourage, yes, Heather said she chokes on her spit all the time. It does, and it's always in the, like, most awkward moment, right? When it's, like, super quiet or you're extremely um, em embarrassed because people are just going to be looking at you like, what the heck is wrong with you? Did you almost die? Thank you, Kristen. Y'all are so y'all are so sweet. Can I, I there's so many more sweet, sweet people who um who I've seen comments from and y'all I'm trying my best to keep up with it and to like everyone's comments and to give you, you know, feedback and love in return and I'm getting a little lost because it's just it's just crazy. Um <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, girl. It's cause I practice all day every day in my basement instead of taking care of my kids where those moves came from y'all come on now we we all know we've all been doing that for a long time I mean I know that I look like I'm like 15 years old but uh salt and pepper is my throwback jam it reminds me of the skating rink days when mama dropped me off at the skating rink go rolling around listen to some fish it good and won't there it is maybe I should do a won't there it is video that might really ruffle some feathers huh um <laughs> Uh, so I've got lots of good ideas for, for new ones that are going to blow your mind. Um, okay, so what I want to tell you, I am my purpose. I'm going to give you a little background about why I made that video. And uh, it's going to get a little serious on you. I'm sorry, but I think it's important. So for the last like six months, I've just had this... Um, God's been putting it in my heart, public speaking, public speaking. And I had a few speaking opportunities come up that I'm going to do. But now I'm kind of thinking maybe this was where he was leading me because how cool is that to be able to do this live and talk to all of you in the moment whenever I want, which to me, I think that's kind of awesome. And so I have a story and I think uh, all of you have a story, every one of you, you all have a struggle, you've all have experience unique to you and who things that mold you into who you are and give you your character. And uh, there's several levels to mine, but let me tell you why I don't care to post incredibly crazy videos of myself all over Facebook. Um, Yes, he does. You can't see the bigger picture in the moment, but when you look back, you always think that's what he was doing. That's what God was doing. That's where he was leading me. And this is it. This is, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so, uh, last in April of 2014, my six-year-old niece was randomly and unexpectedly diagnosed with cancer. She went to the hospital with they were thinking she was going to have her tonsils removed, and they left, rushed to St. Jude, and that's where they stayed. So they were they were rushed four hours away from their home to St. Jude in Memphis, Tennessee, and that is where she stayed for the next 13 months of her life. And um, I've always kind of been goofy, y'all. I have. I'm not anyone in my family, but... It was really hard on me because I'm 14 hours away from my family, and so I couldn't be with her. But I flew down the first week when everything happened to spend time with her. And um, I don't know if y'all, I'm sure we all know people who have been affected by cancer. I don't know if you've ever had a child in your family um, go through that. But um, it's, you've, if you haven't seen that, then you will have a new appreciation for life after after seeing children go through that and yes my child screamed and no she's okay okay she's okay I'm not ignoring her I'm a good mother um <laughs> but so I went to St. Jude to see her and I'm um, y'all I mean we're talking like there's there's her there's babies there's toddlers walking around hooked up to tubes and, and IVs and and it was <sighs> heartbreaking and I left there and I thought there is no way I can leave after seeing that and not take my health seriously and not take and not just stop caring about things that don't matter. There are so many people angry about things that just don't matter. They're not a big deal. Top priority, love God, love others, just love people, just be nice, just be kind. And if someone really drives you nuts and annoys you, then don't say anything. Just keep it to yourself because it's hurting you. It's hurting you, not them. And 
um, with, with people who have real problems, real struggles, like watching their child go from being complete, like, like anyone else's child. I mean, she loved to dance of all things, of course, both my nieces love to dance, but they're actually good dancers. They're like real trained dancers. <laughs> um, they like, they get a kick out of my, um, ridiculous dancing, but, but they're for reals. Um, but she loved to dance and she lost that ability. She lost that ability. She even, she had braces on her legs. The first week of her being in St. Jude, she had a lung, she had so many emergency surgeries that her body shut down a few days in because it just was shocked and she almost died. And she had an emergency trach unexpected. So she woke up with this hole in her neck, couldn't breathe. Or, you know, couldn't talk, didn't know what was going on and why, or why she was this vibrant, hilarious, goofy little girl. Whoops, sorry, friend called. She became like super depressed and just kind of shut down. And um, it was really hard to watch that. Uh, it was really hard to see her go from being so vibrant to just, it was like pulling teeth to even get her to say anything or acknowledge your existence. She just shut down. And, um, you know, she had a sister. My mom moved out of her house to move into my sister's house to take care of their other child. So the whole family was affected. And the one thing that everyone kept was their faith, was our faith. And um, love is the answer for everything. I really, it really is. And it's been very evident to me in that in the last year. But so when I visited her, the only thing that I could do to help was get her to smile and get her to laugh. And it was either by being crazy and dancing around or there was, she was in isolation because she couldn't be around like the slightest bit of anything where she would get so incredibly sick. So, um, yes, he is. Um, and so there was a door, an automatic door that was like, malfunctioning and closing on nurses and that was the first time and like at the whole week where she just busted out laughing so like that whole week I spent a lot of time like pretending like the door was closing on me or running into it or just trying to make her laugh and be goofy and considering I live 14 hours away when I went back home the only thing I could do was be goofy on video uh, one of the first things that got me like just letting loose and not caring what anyone thought was sitting, singing happy birthday to her on Facebook extremely goofy just to get her to laugh and you know I can't I, I'm sorry if, if that makes some people uncomfortable when someone's okay with putting themselves out there, but there's a reason for it, and it just, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, you know, what people think of you. It's all that matters is your loved ones and making people smile and just trying to be happy, just trying, and I know it's really hard sometimes, um, and... She does that when she gets super mad. She just like, she holds it out. She's like the tiniest little almost two year old you've ever seen. And she can hold a screech out for like two minutes straight. Um, so you might hear that sometimes. She just does that. I don't even, I don't pay attention because I'm used to it. So don't freak out. She's fine. Um, thank you, Mackenzie. That's sweet. Um, but so anyway, I want y'all to understand where I'm coming from and, and why I am the way I am. And I wasn't always that way. I've gone through a lot in my life, lots of negatives, lots of bad things. I was very hateful for a very long time. And um, that experience brought me closer to God. And when God, when I gave God my life, I he took the reins. He took the wheel. I mean, things like this that happen, this right here, you talking to me, you listening to me, 83 viewers, whatever. For me, that is, that's all him, you know, and, and all I can hope and pray is that I ever say anything that resonates with you and that you need to hear, and um, I'm going to keep showing up, and, and, and I hope that people cross my path who need me, and, and vice versa. All of you have value that I need in my life, too. All of you have experiences that I can learn from and that I can get better at. So I've gotten a lot of questions also about motivation. How do I get motivated? How do you get motivated? Whatever. Um, I think it's super, super crucial, first and foremost, to work on yourself mentally and emotionally and spiritually. 
So if you don't listen to anything motivational, let me tell you my favorites, okay? I listen to Les Brown, Eric Thomas, my boy E.T. Eric Thomas is the bomb. I listen to him a lot when I'm like needing motivation to get work to work out and stuff. A lot of times I listen to motivational speeches. Yes, Heather, that's why I didn't answer. You almost ruined my broadcast. <laughs> but um, so a lot of times I listen to motivational speeches while I'm working out. Uh, I don't actually listen to music a whole lot because it does distract me and I do stop and get totally lost in, in breaking it down. So, um, so listening to motivational speeches every single day. The first 20 minutes in your day is when your subconscious is most highly impacted by what you hear and what you say to yourself. So listen to motivational speeches. Put them on YouTube. You can search YouTube motivational speeches, inspirational speeches, Les Brown, um, Eric Thomas, or you can just search speeches and you'll get like, you know, tons of them come up and put it on while you're getting dressed. Put it on while you're in the car. You can, there's no excuse for this. You can do this so easy. You can listen to this every single day at some point, no matter how busy you are or how, you know, how many kids you have or, or what you're doing, you can have it playing. Um, because when you hear something positive first thing in the morning, you're more likely to be more look at things in a more positive way throughout the day than you would if you woke up just already telling yourself I am tired and I don't want to get up and this is gonna be a horrible no good day and I'm just giving myself a pass to have an attitude with everyone I meet today also um, write down how you're feeling about yourself and I don't mean like oh I want to lose weight and um, I just I don't feel very well I need more energy like I want you to write down how you feel about yourself, who you are, uh, what you're happy with, what you're not happy with, what, how, um, how, just a second, how you're feeling is how that's impacting your life on a daily basis. Like really open up to yourself. The things that you've pushed down and stuffed down, like deep down inside that you don't really let bubble up to the surface very often. Those are the things you need to write down. Um, pen to paper is huge. So put pen to paper, how you feel about yourself, how your, um, uh, what your goals are, how the, how hitting those goals would change your life, why it's worth it, why you're worth it. Um, all of these things need to be put on paper so that you can see them when, yes, chalkboard too, like just something, some way, like put it up so you can see it and you can read it. And that way when you wake up and you're like, and the weight loss doesn't do it for you because if just losing weight was all that you needed to hit your goals, uh, everyone would hit them. It, there are days where you wake up and just wanting to lose weight is not enough. The junk food wins. The you know just being wanting to binge watch Grey's Anatomy on Netflix since you just discovered it. I'm on like season seven right now. Um, that will win. That will win. Um, so you have to have a higher calling and a bigger purpose. I mean, Ansley was mine, and you know uh, because of her, I'm I was able to figure out a way to uh, pay her legacy forward and her name and um, you know you just find something that means so much more to you than how you look or, or and it can never be for someone else it has to be for you and it's okay for you to be a top priority like you should be a top priority because if you're not happy with who you are you will take it out on yourself you will take it out on your body you will take it out on other people you will take it out on your kids you'll take it out on your spouse Woo, Lord knows I do that. Um, so you, you, you really, 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 really need to get to the core of what you're struggling with. And if you need support and you just need someone to like spill it on or vent to, then find someone you trust. And if that's me, awesome. But if you already have a coach, use them. Use them. Or if you just have a good friend who's really good at listening, then, then use them. Um, but let it out and let it up and let it out. Because the more you push it down, the more it's going to negatively impact I mean, some of you maybe don't know, why can I do this? Why am I like struggling so bad? Why can I just eat right? Why can I work out every day? Well, there's probably some things that you aren't dealing with emotionally that are holding you back. And once you deal with them, once you really deal with them, then you'll be able to move forward because um, your physical, your emotional, and your spiritual are all directly linked to each other. And if you can figure one out, then you'll be able to figure the others out. And it's always good to have a support system and to be involved in a community of people who truly care about you, who truly you know, want to see you succeed. And sometimes you don't get that support at home 
And that's okay, but that's just another reason why you've got to seek it out. You've got to seek the support out. And um, I'm going to cut it. I don't know how long these live videos are supposed to last, but I'm going to, I guess, shut it down, even though I could, I could literally talk to y'all for an hour. Um, so if there's anything that you, you know, have a question about or want to say, comment below. I'm going to post a link in the comments below for t-shirts called Ansley's Angels. And the proceeds from the t-shirts go to a family with a child battling cancer in Ansley's name. It's a really cute t-shirt, very nicely made, very comfy. They're awesome. And the family that we are donating to this month uh, have a two-year-old with leukemia and they have a family of eight and they are about to be losing their housing so uh you know if as much as we can help them as possible would be amazing and if you want to contribute and you would like to be an ansley's angel then um look for that link and uh you just order from there and at the end of the month if we hit our goal they they ship the shirts out and then you get to be an ansley's angel and it's my way of um paying her legacy forward and her love and and you know you get to be a part of helping a family out who's dealing with something that a lot of people don't have any clue how traumatic it is um it's not just about losing hair and being in the hospital there's a whole lot more to it so um if y'all want to contribute just look for that and and we'll do some more facebook live because i love it i love reading your comments you know when i get done and just know if you've messaged me i know you have and i've got my little auto responder responding back to you because i can't keep up with them um right now but I am going to get to your messages as soon as I possibly can, and I hope you'll just be patient with me and know that I, I do care and I want to talk with you more, and I'm just trying to figure this whole thing out and, and manage my time properly because I'm really unorganized. Like, I'm hot mess mom. I'm not organized, got it all together mom. So, um, you just like my page, Sherry, and uh, you should get a notification anytime I go live. So. And I'm going to try to go live like at least once a day. All right. I love y'all. I really do. I appreciate all the love and support. And I appreciate all the people. I don't even have to say anything to my haters because I've got like five or six of y'all who are like, I got this. So I appreciate that. Um,